Okay, so this is book eight. The reasons ill-famed defendants were acquitted or condemned. Valerius Maximus, book eight. There we go. Now, so that with a more calm or equal mind, what have we got? The um, motus. Motions which can go in sympathies, which means that's two-headed. It can go in either direction. So we have decorum, so of judgments in the law court. So it's about uh, legal motions which could go either way, how they're tolerated. Let us record or we may record or think about those people who are laboring and uh, a lot of begrudging and envy or... And I think we'll chuck a pro in there. For what... what uh, reasons these people were either absolutely centered they were either absolved of these um charges or crimes in the law courts or they were condemned damnati okay eight one the people who have been absolved they go first m Horatius, with the crime of killing his sister was damnatus he was condemned by king tullius um he was absolved having called for a judicial inquiry to the people. Okay, so he asked for a bit of a public uh, hearing, of which all term and all term, so this must be the king, of which the king was moved by the atrocity of the killing, but the other, the populum, the people, they were bent by the cause or reason. Queer, because the immature love, amour, of this girl, this virgin, it was severe, more than impious, uh, these people were thinking the punishment. This is the guy who, um, I think his sister was engaged to a man he killed, if I remember correctly. And so, what have we got? His dexter, his right hand being liberated from the ablady, from this brave punitive action of the brother. Um, so that it was thought that he was able to have drawn... Um, of glory from the gore of killing the enemy, the hostiles, than from the consanguine of his family member. So tantum and quantum are correlatives here. So he got more glory for killing the enemy than he should be punished for um, killing his sister. Mm, chapter 2, or verse 2, we've got Populus Romanus are doing something here. Okay, so well, they got themselves in the accusative because they say so. The Roman people or an acrim custodian, a very fierce custodian of modesty, you might want to say, pudicia, or chastity. And afterwards, they were more uh, placid, it looks like, in their justice uh, as judges, judicums. In this case, they praised it. So the Roman people, showing, say themselves, uh, tunks the time adverb, so then in that time. Um, also, nunc gets changed in the talks when you have uh, indirect speech. Cum, when by Libon, the tribune of the plebs, a nominative Serb Serbius Galba was being increpited venomously, he was being um, chewed out, castigated from the rostrus, that's this uh, thing they stand on when they speak. Uh, because of that, uh, what do we got? Uh, a great band or handful of Lusitorians. Um, okay, so he was a praetor, this Galba guy, another apposition. Um, when he was in, he was a praetor in Spain and he had killed a great handful of these people and he had uh, come, well, they'd been in his protection into positive fide. So um, when you come into someone's fide, it usually means you're under their protection or you're in some sort of agreement with them or treaty. Uh, and then we have another nominative, so... Cato, looks like genitives of the actions of this tribune in his ultimate oration of his old age, so when Cato was very old, um, which he's written about in his book on origins, he has uh, subscribed this, he's written this, the defendant, the accused, the Rius, for himself, he was refusing nothing now, he wasn't denying anything, but something to do with the very small children, and uh, what have we got? A son from some marriage relation to him, from the blood of Gallus. He was flensing, he was weeping, and he began to. You know, he's got an M there, you can put an M there. 
he was beginning to ask that uh, these small children and this uh, son, uh, something should happen to him, and I guess he was um, asking for mercy for them or something. And by EO facto, by this fact, he mitigated the assembly, who, when he was about to paraturus, he was about to die, by the consent of all of the people in this assembly, um, and almost, there's a painy for almost, uh, he had the suffragum, he had the vote of all of these people, um, and almost none triste. So uh, I guess they were all very sad, um, and he had the consent of all, and there was no one voting against him, because he softened them with this uh, mitigation of uh, weeping and begging for mercy for children. Ergo, so then, misericordia, pity or mercy, is doing something in this inquisition, ruling, Brexit, not equality or fairness or justice. Since, quoniam, it was not able, in being um, absolved of being innocent in this uh, tribunal inquest, um, it was a uh, data test. It was given out of respect or consideration of these boys. I guess maybe if he was dead, something would happen to these boys. Maybe he was raising them. I don't exactly know. You could probably Google it. Okay, so Daily Dictionary. Equitas. Justice, equity, fairness, impartiality. Yes, I've got a cold. You might tell from my voice anyway. Part 3. Consentanium. Of the same sort of sentiment or feeling is that which follows. A Galbanus was in maximum ardour. He was burning of infamy. He was uh, exposed to the voting of the people. Um, and we have C. Memmius being the accusator. Okay, so he, here's what it is. A Galbanus was subject uh, to this great burning of infamy and uh, people looked like were against him. And it seemed is that uh, He'd been erupted of spay. Uh, all hope had been taken away since uh, also uh, these party, this side uh, who was, who was uh, accusing him, they were exhibiting evidence very plenty, very fully, and this uh, defense of a defense, garrison of defense, or his means of defense, was relying upon a very weak uh, informant or defendant or someone who had speech for him, they, they seemed to be a very uh, weak source that would um, clear him. And those who were judging, they were very persited. Uh, per usually means thoroughly, so they were thoroughly excited with ira, which is anger, and they were seeking um, with a great desire or something, uh, the punishment of this man, who was, uh, what's his name, Galbanus. Okay, Igator. Therefore, a viator, usually means a traveller, and Karka, the jail. So, viator also brings people to the magistrates, so that's what it would be here. The guy who takes him to the magistrates in jail were dwelling or moving or looming before his eyes. And interim meanwhile, later Latin, so I mean sometimes, but it probably means meanwhile here. All this uh, was dispulsed. This was all driven away by the intervention of some pro propitious fortune, which is good fortune. Uh, for reason, uh, the Phileus of Galbinius, the son, whose name is Cisanna, uh, by some impulse of consternation, by the impulse of some sort of um, anxiety or whatever, uh, he prostrated himself as a supplex it's like a um, begging for something to the feet of Memmius. In day then, seeking present participle, some fermentum, some alleviament or healing of this storm, where everyone in the city was angry, from which this whole impetus or force had broken out of this tempestus, another word for storm, um, whom, with a truculent Look on his face, the victor insult, the insolent victor, um, repulsed him from himself. So he pushed him away, and uh, a bit of time, Alakamdu, he suffered, uh, and the 
and although the rings had been shaken from his hand even, and he was yakarang on the humai, humai's locative for the ground. Quad spectaculum, this spectacle, it's neuter, um, made it that, or so it happened, that Lalius, the tribune of the plebs, um, ordered Gal Gabinin to be dismissed or left with the approval of all, a probantibus cunctus. And this is an, a documentum, a documentary, an example that's given uh, that neither or not so the insolent uh, blah blah okay so abused by the help of um second arm your seconds use the people that come after you so don't insolently um abuse your successes i think is what they would say in the matter of these things um because maybe this kid who threw himself on the ground was a successor to him and neither ought you uh pray 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 you shouldn't really hasten uh, to debilitate um, or to be weak to your adversaries or something. Anyway, this is uh, in the next example or the example of what's coming up. Uh, this equally shows it. So pick it up tomorrow.